as much as we can go to heaven in this lifetime, we can also fall to hell in this lifetime. Depends on our action and our thought, our attitude, our concept. Do you understand? It's just a hair, it's just a hair width of heaven and hell. Very simple. There was one a Zen story. There was a person who came in with a sword in his hand and said, You, you have to show me right now about enlightenment or I kill you. So the master says, Sit there, not feeling scared or anything. He said, Ho! Oh. Somebody like you opening the, the door to hell. And then he said, Why? He said, Even if I want to teach you, how can you accept anything? You're full of violence. Your head is full of anything else except sincerity, humility, and to, to truly want to seek enlightenment. How can I even teach you? So it might as well kill me and then go to hell. <laughs> so then suddenly this person, you know, kind of awaken and feel that, oh, that's, that's not correct. Yeah? So he knelt down and said, sorry, really sincerely, humbly sorry, and please forgive me. And just tell me when I'm ready you know, to receive your teaching, something like that. And then the Master smiled and said, ah, somebody just opened the gate to heaven, just like that, just a few seconds. This is true like that. Understand? Watch your speech, your action, and your thought. Always watch it like God in a treasure. Because you have a treasure within you, you must protect it. Otherwise, you lose it. Okay? Many people, even in India, disciples in India, in other schools, or the master. They also think that okay, after after initiation, initiation, master will erase all their past karma and say now they can do anything they want. Very wrong concept. You know, do wrong thing even, and then expect to have no consequences. It's not like that. No, no, you have to bear consequences because at the time of initiation, any master. You know, be it from Beas or from other school, they teach you the five, the concept. You know, of being good, doing good. Be maybe they don't say five precepts. Yeah, but they say, you know, do not kill, do not steal, do not tell lie, do not this and that, do not take drug intoxication, but be good, be clean, tell the truth. Yeah, be chaste. Yeah, thing like that. So it's not like you don't know. And after you promise to take that, you must keep it. Otherwise, the negative power have excuse to torture you, to punish you accordingly, okay? Because this is their word, this is their rule, it's like that. If you do this, you got that. If you do that, you get this. You understand me, 